Hi guys, welcome back here to Drone in Motion, a channel where we do drone videos and where we cover the most relevant drone news, my friends. Today we're back here once again with a brand new video and a pretty exciting one to say the least. Today, my friends, we're going to be talking about the DJI Mavic 3 and most importantly about its video recording capabilities. Today we're going to be talking about if either the Mavic 3 will be able to shoot up to 8K, which chip will it be using, and also at the end we're going to be giving you the release date for the DJI Mavic 3, my friends, so you don't want to miss out today's video, it's going to be a very, very exciting one. But before we get started with today's video, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you join the Drone Emotion family and you subscribe to the channel so that you can keep up to date with the latest drone news and also if you want to participate in our next giveaway make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can be eligible to participate in it my friends so with that being said let's go ahead and dive right into today's video which is a very very exciting one my friends so by now we all know that the dji mavic 3 is going to be coming okay so we know that for sure it's going to be coming this year there's no doubt about it but now what kind of specs will it bring to the table? And most importantly, it's video capabilities. So we know that currently the Auto Evo 2 is out there and it's able to shoot up to 8K at 25 frames per second. So it's pretty impressive. So we know that DJI always likes to have the best specs when it comes to their new releases. So the list I'm hoping to see with the Mavic 3 is the list is 8K 30. And I think that could very well happen so in case you guys didn't know Amborella which is a company that develops and produces chips just released a brand new chip in CES 2021 which just happened last week and then let me tell you something this chip is mind-blowing to say the least my friends so what am I talking about well I'm talking about the Amborella CB5 chip right here in screen there we have it so that is the brand new chip that Amborella just announced in CES 2021 okay so the specs on this are pretty mind-blowing so the CB5 can support a video at up to 8k 60 frames per second what do you think about that my friend that's pretty impressive 8k 60 that when compared to the Evo 2 8K 25 frames per second. That's pretty. That's very, very much better than what we found on the Evo 2. When we also get 8K, 4K, 240 frames per second. So that's pretty impressive. So 4K at 240 frames per second. That means that the slow motion shots that we're going to be able to get from that sensor is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Okay. So the 240 frames per second on 4K is also very impressive. So we're gonna get great slow motion and it's also going to allow us to be able to do cropped and zoom in post without losing quality, okay? Now, this new chip also supports H.265 HEBC video codec, HDR and WDR and the rest of the standard features we have come to expect from a high-end camera equipped drones. So I know that a lot of people want to see different video codecs and I think this might be a great option for the Mavic 3. So all those people asking for it, I think this could be the solution for that, okay? So the CD5 chip is produced using a 5 Nm process which allows to have an impressive power consumption levels. When recording at 8K30, it uses less than 2 watts and in 8K60, frames per second it use just under 5 watts leaving more than enough battery power for the rest of the components of the drone so this is really good because that means that the camera will not consume most of our battery so that means we're still going to have a lot of flight time left for our drone so that's pretty good okay so the chip target application is described as being for drones sport cameras robotic cameras virtual reality cameras and self-driving systems so it is very likely that we that at some point we're going to be seeing this chip on some drone we still don't know if it's going to be from hotel from a skydio from sony or from dji okay so will the dji mavic 3 have it that's a pretty 
That's a really good question. Well, we know that DJI, this wouldn't be the first time that DJI used an Ambarella chip, okay? I just want to leave that out there. The Mavic Mini utilizes an, an Ambarella chip. So I think the Mavic 3 could definitely be using this chip. I wouldn't neglect that that option, okay? So, but there's a little problem with that. So, on top of that, the Umbrella's marketing and business development, Christopher Day told CNN that it takes around a year for products to use these chips, okay? So, that's a little downside because this means that at the soonest we're going to be seeing this chip on cameras or drones at least in the next year so that's a little unfortunate so will it ha the DJI Mavic 3 have it well I think if the DJI gets the Mavic 3 gets postponed again I think DJI could have some time to intro to make this chip compatible with the Mavic 3 camera so that could definitely be an option but right now I would say that the the possibilities of this happening on the Mavic 3 are not very likely just because it was just released and the Mavic 3 has been in development for over two and a half years so probably DJI already has the Mavic 3 almost finalized okay so that's that okay so what other option could we have well I think that DJI could very well be creating their own chip okay and so this is something very interesting and it, this would be crazy and especially because DJ just reported that they were working on their self-driving technology okay there's still no news regarding DJ working on their own chip but I think this could definitely happen and we could see it on the Mavic 3 so the Mavic 3 will have 8k I think for sure it will have it regardless what sensor it uses if it goes for the Amborella CB5 processor or if they develop their own processor or if they use one that's already in existence okay but definitely I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty confident that the Mavic 3 will at least have 8k just because DJ always likes to have the best specs on the table when they bring out a brand new product okay so that is the video capabilities of the upcoming DJI Mavic 3 my friend so we're gonna finish up this video talking about the release date when are we going to be seeing the DJI Mavic 3 well by now we it's been almost three years since the original release of the Mavic 2 can you believe it crazy so most DJI drones have a lifetime of two years but it was an exception with the Mavic 3 and this has to do particularly with remote ID I think that's the biggest reason behind the delay of the Mavic 3 because DJI needed to implement remote ID onto this drone so that in the future it can still be relevant so I think that was the biggest thing and now that remote ID is finalized and according to pretty credible sources such as drone excel when they gave us the release of the Mavic Air 2 and Mavic Mini 2 over two months in advance they have now come out and said to us that the DJI Mavic 3 should be coming this summer okay so that's going to be the release for the DJI Mavic 3 get ready my friends sometime in the summer it's going to be released and keep in mind that the original Mavic 2 was released also during the summertime so summer will be the date for the new DJI Mavic 3 get ready we're six months away from the release of the Mavic 3 so get your money ready get your wallet ready because the Mavic 3 is going to be coming out and I'm pretty sure it's going to have some pretty monster specs that's all I have for all of you today thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the latest drone news drone emotion signing out